Tornadoes by Gail Gibbons, new and updated. It is raining hard. The winds are strong. The sky is dark. Suddenly, a twisting column of moist air reaches down from a cloud and touches the ground. It makes a loud roaring sound. It is a tornado. Tornadoes begin inside storm clouds called cumulonimbus clouds, which are made up of warm, moist air. These large, dark clouds can grow to be tall and enormous. There is lightning, thunder, rain, hail, and high winds. When warm, humid air rises from the ground toward a dark cumulonimbus thunderhead, it creates an updraft that pulls more warm, humid air with it. When the air rises to where the temperature is cooler, condensation occurs, creating rain or hail. The cool air falls back toward Earth, creating a downdraft. If the updraft and the downdraft come together and start to spin, a funnel-shaped cloud forms inside the thunderhead and sometimes tilts into a funnel that reaches down toward the ground. As the funnel cloud spins faster and faster, it sucks up more and more warm air and becomes bigger and louder and more powerful. If it touches the ground, a tornado is born. In 1971, T. Theodore Fugida developed the Fugida Tornado Scale, rating tornadoes on a scale from F0 to F5. Since then, the scale has been enhanced, setting stricter standards for measuring damage. Since 2007, the enhanced Fujita Tornado Scale has been used to classify tornadoes from EF0 to EF5. Classifications are mostly based on the amount and type of damage caused. There is no way yet to directly measure the winds in every tornado. Wind speeds are estimates only and are based on the severity of the damage. No matter how big or little a tornado is or how long it lasts on the ground, it is likely to cause damage. EF0 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 65 miles per hour, 104.6 kilometers per hour, and 85 miles per hour, 136.8 kilometers per hour. They can damage chimneys, break limbs off trees, and blow over shallow rooted trees. EF1 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 86 miles per hour, 138.4 kilometers per hour, and 110 miles per hour, 177 kilometers per hour. They can peel the surface off roofs and overturn small trucks and mobile homes. EF2 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 111 miles per hour, 178.6 kilometers per hour, and 135 miles per hour, 216 kilometers per hour. They can tear the whole roof off a frame house, demolish mobile homes, and snap or uproot large trees. EF3 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 136 miles per hour, 218.9 kilometers per hour, and 165 miles per hour, 265.5 kilometers per hour. They can uproot a forest and lift heavy cars off the ground. EF4 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 166 miles per hour, 267.2 kilometers per hour, and 200 miles per hour, 321.9 kilometers per hour. They can demolish well-constructed houses, leaving few walls standing. Other structures may be blown off their foundations and moved some distance. EF5 tornadoes are the most violent tornadoes. They have wind speeds of more than 200 miles per hour, 
321.9 kilometers per hour. Well-constructed houses can be lifted off their foundations, carried away, and totally destroyed. Trains have been lifted off their tracks. The devastation is so extreme that it's hard to believe. There are two regions in the United States that experience tornadoes frequently. One region is in the middle section of the country where most of the violent tornadoes occur. It is often referred to as Tornado Alley. In this area, most tornadoes occur during April, May, and June. The other is the state of Florida where most tornadoes occur during January, February, and March. The United States has about 1,200 tornadoes a year, more than any other country. On May 3rd, 1999, 96 tornadoes ravaged parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and South Dakota. If the EF scale had been in effect when the tornadoes occurred, the most destructive ones would have been classified EF5. The damage in the Oklahoma City area alone was valued at more than $1 billion. On the afternoon of March 18, 1925, a record-breaking tornado devastated parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. It is called the Great Tri-State Tornado. An estimated 690 people, 95 people died. It is believed 606 people died in Illinois alone. The tornado was on the ground for three hours and 29 minutes and traveled 217 miles, 349.2 kilometers. If the EF scale had been in effect at this time, this tornado also may have been classified EF5. Meteorologists are on constant watch to predict and warn people of dangerous storms that may produce tornadoes. They study computer data and radar screens. The National Weather Service will issue a tornado watch when tornadoes are possible. They will issue a tornado warning for a specific area when a tornado is likely to form or has been spotted. This information is immediately broadcast on television, radio, the internet, and mobile phones. What to do when a tornado approaches. If your house has a basement, go to it at once. If you are in a house without a basement, go to an interior closet or bathroom far from the outside walls. Crouch down low and cover your head with your hands. Stay away from windows and outside walls. Try to cover yourself with a mattress or heavy blankets for protection from falling debris. If you can, crouch under a set of stairs. If you are in a car, get out immediately. Try to find a low spot, such as a ditch, to lie in. Lie flat on your stomach and cover your head with your hands. After the, the tornado, be careful of falling electrical wires, broken glass, and unsafe structures. Try to have an adult help you. Tornado happenings. Most tornadoes occur in the afternoon. Most tornadoes last less than 10 minutes. Most tornadoes rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, north of the equator, and clockwise in the southern hemisphere, south of the equator. In the United States, only the National Weather Service issues, issues tornado watches and warnings nationwide. Tornadoes have occurred in all 50 states of the USA. Funnel clouds from over water too. When they touch down on water, they are called water spouts. Most tornadoes are classified EF0 or EF1. EF5 tornadoes are very rare. On May 22, 2011, an EF5 tornado struck Joplin, Missouri and caused catastrophic damage. <laughs>